So number five then, from paper two, the 2021 Advanced Higher Resource Paper. Four mark question four. Now it's matrices, but it's just algebraic manipulation of the matrices. The entries don't matter. So you just have to watch out for things like multiplying by I, the identity, just leave something the same. Making sure you keep the order of multiplication the same because they're not commutative. Apart from multiplying by I, you can do that either side. But anyway, it states this is true about a particular matrix. A squared is 2A plus 5I. And it says, if that's the case, what about A to the power 4? Write it the same way. It says it express it in the form, so it doesn't actually say state the values of P and Q. So you can just write it the same way. Well, A to the 4 would be A squared times A squared. It's just algebra. So it's going to be 2A plus 5I times 2a plus 5i. I'm not too big here. I'm not going to have room down below. So multiplying out, that's 4 and a times a is a squared plus 10ai plus another 10. I'll put it down, ia. Remember, it doesn't matter which way around. You multiply by i, the identity matrix. The answer is still just a. Plus 25i squared. So tidying that up, you've got four lots of a squared and i times a, or a times i, or i times a is the same thing as a, plus 20a, plus now i squared is just i, so 25i. So far, that would be the first mark. Now you can call this in. So that's the same as the four, four times two lots of a and 5i plus the 20a, plus the 25i. But I think at this point, I'll just go to the answer instead of writing that out and then writing it again. So you've got eight lots of a, and 20 lots of a is 28a, and you've got 20 of i and another 25, so that's 45i. Then in part B, it says express a to the negative 1, the inverse of a, in that same form of something times a and something times i. And it doesn't say explicitly stating the values of r and s. That's just using an r and an s to distinguish it from them. Well, there's two ways you could go about it. Both of them are going to involve this fact. a times its inverse is equal to i. So you could either replace that i with an a times the inverse of a and have a to the negative one in this equation and then effectively divide out an a by removing a common multiplication. But a simpler way would just be to arrive at this result, rearrange this, so it ends up looking like a times something is i. I left myself an awful lot of room, I'll just squash it in here. If you take this equation here, I would have written it down first of all, and I'll, I'll remove that there. If you start with that equation, a squared is 2a plus 5i. And leave this side as an i, so I'm going to take everything over. That means I'm going to have a squared take away 2a. And then the whole thing divided by 5. Then we've got multiplications here. We can take out a multiplication. So we've now got a fifth of... It would be a times an a minus, now don't just put down a 2, that would be a 2i that would multiply by a to give a 2a is equal to i. And I think doing that gets the first mark. And then comparing it with this, a times what? a times, a times a fifth of that bracket. So the inverse of a must be a fifth of that but you want it in the form of, it was, it was R and S though, so that'll be a fifth of A minus two fifths of I. The multiplication, I'll just do that the other way, the multiplication way would be to replace that term. Well, just, maybe there's other ways. So, I'll just start here. So if I rewrote that as A times A is two times A, plus five times, now I am going to write as 
a to the inverse times a, because that's the same both ways round. So rewriting that, replacing i with the inverse times a. Then you've got a common post multiplication, which can be removed to read a equals, when you do move that, maybe that'll be a 2i, plus 5 times the inverse of a. And then it's the same as before, so just rearrange that to read a. So I'll be take that across and subtract, and then divide by 5. Or if you want it split out, a fifth of a minus two fifths of i. But that'd be the more usual way to do this type of question. Just rearrange it into the form of a times something equals i. And then that something, whatever it happens to be, is the inverse. Thank you.